is the most profitable entity because uh, it, it forces government to borrow money at interest and then they create the money out of thin air provided for the governments at interest and it, it becomes a means of control and they have, since they don't have empathy, they don't care who dies or who suffers as long as uh, they're served. Yeah, once, these once we uh, gain knowledge of these facts about these disorders, about the psychology behind it, which I call socio political psychology, then we'll have the tools to fight back. But as long as we remain ignorant, um, there's no hope for humanity. My book is called Saving Humanity Through Sociopolitical Psychology. So it's the outline to give us the tools to fight back through knowledge instead of ignorance. And this is going to be uh, the reason why the book is going to be produced. And it's going to be um, a guide and a, and a source of knowledge for people to understand how the world actually operates versus the mainstream media versions, which only steers, <clears throat> which only um, provides fear for people. Yeah, it's a new branch of psychology because there's there's been a void in psychology because um, it's supposed to be the study of human behavior, but no branch of academic psychology has yet taken on the behavior of the elites, which is the most important behavior because that's the controlling mecha mechanism of our world. And, uh, of course, since they control academia, they've, uh, they've left a void in studying their own behaviors. And now sociopolitical psychology is the first branch of psychology to actually take on the behaviors of the elites. And what have you found? That the core of this is a psychopathic personality disorder. Um, organized bands of people that lack empathy. And uh, what they do is they create institutions and infiltrate institutions, usurp institutions in order to <clears throat> more serve themselves. So they control the media, they control education, they can, academia, and uh, they use these institutions to uh, further control the population. Not everybody's controlled. Some people can think independently. But the fact that they uh, take human beings and lie to them their entire lives, it creates disorders, psychiatric disorders, in the common population where they lose the ability to actually decipher what the truth is. Even if the, all the evidence is put in front of them, they can't process it. And... Uh, of course, this benefits the elites because you have large swaths of the population that will not question whatever the government tells them. Psychopathy is a person who's genetically born without the ability to feel empathy, remorse, guilt, and they lack the ability to develop a sense of morals. They're characterized by uh, glibness. Controversial issues. Mm -hmm. um. They're charming. They get over on people. A month we're speeding up training of ISIL forces. Well, they have an instinct of how to control people. Yeah. <laughs> they develop these in, in, uh, instincts at an early age. Um, they lack the ability to... I mean, what kind of people would empathy? pull off Sandy Hook? Psychopaths. Absolutely. And what's your definition of a psychopath? Well, like I just said, they're genetically born without the ability to feel empathy, remorse, guilt. And uh, they're pathological liars. So 
these people who are in power, who are controlling and creating these events when they're drills, I mean, how do you graduate to not feeling compassion? Well, if they're genetic psychopaths, uh, they don't have the ability to feel compassion. They could only feign it. They could only um, use the illusion of of empathy in order to uh, self-serve. They're, they're all self-serving. They're narcissistic. And, uh, so with the fiat currency and the Federal Reserve in place, yeah, and the mo yeah. and the mainstream media, I mean, it's a total blinder. I mean, the average person can't see outside of that. Right. In until until they uh, gain the knowledge of this disorder, which is actually ruling the world. And and then they create disorders in, in the average people. Disorders where they can't decipher the truth because they've been lied to their entire lives. And they hold on to this illusion that their government and their media are actually on their side and work in their benefit when they're actually, these are actually institutions that work to um, actually control them. And they're run by psychopaths. And collectively, I call it organized psychopathy.